welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Hire events at all the restaurants and get a gold medal each time. It's a plan anyway. And if it works out as well as my plans normally do, it's going to fail spectacularly at some point. This time round I'm moving on to Esteban's, just for some variation for me. I'll go back to the others and keep working on those at a later point. However, I thought I'd needed a change of pace, because it can get a tad frustrating. Ah, okay, I don't know these three foods. I vaguely remember that one from doing it at some restaurant before. However, this is the first first shift at Esteban, so I will read the information. Founded in 1991 by Gloria Esteban. Gloria Esteban. Okay. In the quiet Mexican towns of New Jala, Esteban's quickly rose to fame thanks to its signature Mexican dishes. Wanting to open the restaurant up to, to new locations abroad, Esteban partnered up with the Chalupa Brothers, who merchandised the restaurant's fun logo into various beer cozies, t-shirts and coasters. And it is a fun logo. Este no, try that again. Esteban began to suspect that the reported income by the Chalupa Brothers was suspiciously low and in subsequent audits she found that millions were being withheld from her through shady accounting. Esteban took the Chalupa Brothers' 15 expert lawyers to court on her own and, in 1995, won her suit against the company, giving her full ownership and rights. Sadly, Esteban passed away in 1996. Short-lived victory, that one. And, but not before entrusting her business to her sons, who grew it into a billion-dollar empire. In 2023, the mayor of New Jala renamed the town to Esteban, much to the celebration of thousands. Nice story. Okay, I don't remember these foods for the most part, so this is going to be a learning experience for me. But hopefully it won't be too bad as the buzz is low when there aren't that many serving stations. And as always, because I'm going for gold medal, I need a perfect day with no mistakes. Okay, and I can prepare the oh, chimichangas. That's what these things are called. Never can remember. Only other thing I prepare are the sides. So let's see what these are like. Okay, pinto beans and mash them. That one's quite easy. Pinto and seasoning. I kind of like the pinto beans as a side, to be honest. Okay, I put chocolate in here, cook it. Chocolate, cook it. I'm sure, sure there's something I have to do later with that one. This one is... These called... Oh, quesadillas. That's what these things are called. Chimichanga, queso, guacamole and sour cream. Oh, well, let's do the chore. Spinach, cheese, and tortilla. Uh, okay, let's do number three. Number one. Poke holes, chocolate milk, and whip. Number two. Poke holes, chocolate milk, and whip. Number four. Chocolate. Number five is cooked. Trash. Beef, cheese, and tortilla. Yeah, I've got a rush out camera. I've got plenty of sides prepared. That's something. Might run out of chimichangas, whatever they were called. Ran with a t-shirt, eat or die on it. Well, that's technically true. Uh, chimichanga, green sauce, guacamole and sour cream. Oh, okay, here comes the rush hour. Poke holes, chocolate milk and whip. Number one. Let's do number two. Cheese and tortilla. Number three. Number four, even. Five. Shrimp. Okay, to get the key right for shrimp. Number six. And now I need some more of those. Okay, nothing I can do for the moment. Number two. Number six. Vanilla. And all my sides are going to expire. OK, 
Okay, those three were all the same. Okay, that's a plain one. Oh, and I'm out of them again? Six is done. Poke holes. Just plain milk this time and whip. Okay. That's the tea key. Does help. If I can find the actual key. Beef, chicken, cheese, and tortilla. And there go my sides. Let's go create some more sides. I kind of like the pinto beans, didn't I? Okay. Number six. Chicken, cheese, and tortilla. Right. Now that other sides are done. Actually, we'll do some more of those. So I'm probably going to need them. And some more pinto beans. Right. It's a lot of trash. Oh, number six is done. Oh, somebody wants to rob me. How unfriendly. Not very nice to bring a shotgun to a Mexican restaurant. Okay, I've got everything prepared that I can prepare. I'm just waiting for a customer. The restaurant's quite nice, I like the decor. Clientele is a slight upgrade from some of the clientele I've had in previous restaurants. Although I don't like the fact that two of these people sat in my booths are texting. Especially when one is sat next to another person, they could at least be bothered to talk to the person next to them. I think that's just the height of bad manners. Now multiple people are sat in my restaurant texting. Oh, and here comes another rush out. And here come all the chores. But with luck, I should get them all done before the rush hour starts. As long as I can hit the right keys. Alamo quesadilla. Fair enough. Which reminds me, I still like the way the fact that people in Texas or America in general talk about the Alamo as though it was some kind of victory for the Americans. Well, it was obviously not a victory for the Americans because um, the Americans at the Alamo got slaughtered. Very much like a lot of things American, they do tend to celebrate their defeats. I have no idea why. Yeah, in Britain we don't have a holiday for the 4th of July. We tend to look at our defeats and try and ignore them, because they were bad things. That's number three done, number four's next. the rush hour over and we need a more sides just to get me through to the end of the day oh ok I've got another one of these to do that's number 4 ok uh, poke holes, add milk and whip and we'll wait a second right uh, number five is done, number six. 
with those holes and milk and whip. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've actually got to cook that. Um, didn't realise I'd run out of those. One. Oh, it's chocolate. Well, it's late enough. I'll cook these on demand now. Once you get used to these foods, it's not actually that bad. It just takes a little bit of getting used to, I, I must admit. All the restaurants up to this point. Uh, chocolate milk and whip. Yeah. All the restaurants up to this point have been entirely different foods. Nothing like most of these. So it's a bit weird getting used to them, but... They're actually relatively simple to do once you do get used to them. Coles, chocolate milk, and whip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a nice perfect day, a gold medal, and a fairly sedate perfect day as well. Oh, how cute. What a cute picture for the birds collection. The first woman, women's, women's? Basketball League, 1929. Okay. The obese man collection. I like that one. Well, that was the first shift at Esteban's. The next shift at Esteban's is an entirely different set of food apart from one of them. Okay, well that'll be another new challenge for me when that happens. As always, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you down the road for more Chef for Hire and in Cook Serve Delicious 2.